Hello, world changers. Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we practice a specific question type. These videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need more practice with your math skills, I will point you in the right direction for tons of videos at the end of this video today. So our question type to focus on this week is drum roll. Editing task. I love these. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fourth grade, you know what time it is. It's time for you to press pause to solve this one on your own. Then what you're gonna do is come on back when you're ready, when you've got your journey on paper and you're ready to check your work, press play, come back and see me and we'll do just that. Welcome back fourth grade. All right, so this one says to fill in the blanks to make the statement true. The statement says that two and seven eighths that's a mixed number. That means that we've got a whole and a fraction together. That's a mixed number. That that fraction two and seven eighths can be de whoa where'd it go? Can be decomposed. Decomposed means broken down. Decomposed into a sum of fractions. Sum means that we're adding fractions. Finding the sum we're adding. So two and seven eighths can be broken down, decomposed into which one of these fractions? Well, when this is a computer-based test, like an editing task problem like this is, you can click this drop-down menu here and you'll notice that we have three different answer choices right there. What I'm gonna do is pretend that I've got some paper to show my journey on paper. So I'm gonna use this little space right over here. And the very first one, this one right here, says 8 eighths, which is equal to one whole plus eight eighths, which is equal to one whole, plus three eighths, plus three eighths, three eighths, and three eighths equals what? Six eighths. All right, so when I add those together, I would get two wholes and six eighths, which is not the same as two and seven eighths. So we can eliminate that one. We don't want that one. Um, and let's move on to the next one. So for our next one, we have eight eighths, which is equal to one whole, plus eight eighths, which is equal to one whole. All right, now let's add the rest of them. We've got four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. <gasps> oh my goodness. We have two wholes. We have one plus one, that equals two. And then we have a fraction that is seven eighths. That's what we need. That's what we need. That's what our answer is going to be. So we can just go ahead and mark this problem. We can just go ahead and select this answer, right? I mean, we could, but the better option would be to do what? Yeah, make sure that final one is not two and seven eighths. So let's go prove it wrong, y'all. Let's do it. Looking at the next one, it is eight eighths, which is the same thing as one whole plus eight eighths, which is the same thing as one whole, plus one, two, three, four, five, six eighths. That would be equal to two and six eighths. Again, not quite two and seven eighths. So our correct answer, let's make it official, would be this middle one right here. Okay, so you would select that one on your test. That's how you rock this one. Go ahead and pause the video to jot down any notes that you still need to make, and when you're ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video, okay? Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you wanna get better, 
stronger, or more confident with something, you've got to make time for intentional practice. And you've got to make sure that you are giving your very best effort. I believe in you, and I will see you next time, world changers.